much, I mean, you just heard him talking about it. How much defense do you see, like different defensive things do you see like on a, in an average scrimmage like on Saturday? Oh, we see a lot. They're throwing a lot out of uh, as coach said. It's a lot of stuff that we're not going to see usually in the games. Uh, teams are more basic, so it's a lot of good pressures, and so it's, it's been good for practice. Four weeks in, how's everything feeling, gelling with you guys? Good. I think uh, we go through the ups and downs. Sometimes the defense has seen a lot of these plays by now, but uh, we've made a lot of progress. In yeah. terms of the offense, would you consider this more of a relearning process, getting back in with Coach Signetti? Yeah, I would say uh, learning everything again, but um, it's a lot of the plays that I've, I've run for years, so it's just a different defense that we're going against, but the same plays. So when it comes to building chemistry with these wide receivers, do you feel like you have a little bit of an edge there? Because you this isn't your first time going to a new program. You know how to build those relationships with guys. Do you think that helps out? Definitely, yeah. The experience, um, seeing it before, like the different uh, looks and the different types of players, uh, that helps for sure. What's been your most difficult transition? Um, you know, the defense is just throwing a lot at us. Uh, at times it, it can be frustrating and in um, spring ball, but we know it's it's practice, and so we just got to work the techniques and um, keep getting better. Does Frank, does, Frank, does Frank kind of pull you aside? Like, what kind of things does he t tell you about, like just things he wants you to keep working on, those that you've kind of taken from just working with your OC in the in the film room when you're going over practices? Well, we've been working a lot of fundamentals, so working um, the footwork, detailing the routes. Um, for the spring is great for that, the fundamentals. So how has it gone from a leadership aspect as far as getting to know the guys and being in that type of position? I think pretty good so far. Um, just, yeah, I'm still getting to know everybody, but being out there on the field is a little different and uh, that's, that way it's better being able to lead the offense, uh, lead the huddle. That's, that's been fun. How do you approach that? Are you a very vocal guy? Or you try to pick your, your time to speak? How do you, how do you lead? Yeah, I try to pick my time here and there whenever uh, I need to, to step up. You know, there, there's certain times a quarterback's got to speak. Well, who are some young guys that have stood out to you on either side of the ball? Um, some young guys. I think uh, TJ's been running the ball well. Um, some um, Izzy, uh, wide receiver, Polk, he's, he's been doing really well. Um, yeah, those two guys, I would say. Anyone on defense? Um, it's hard to tell. I think a lot of guys are getting in there, playing well, playing hard. Okay. Phil, how big of a help have some of these second-year guys that are in this offense, like Bob and Kanate and Gavin, how much of a help have they been to you in this whole process of getting back and acclimated with the offense? Yeah, they've been helpful. It's been um, good um, for them. They're just showing, showing me um, what, what they really like in the offense and what works well against our defense. I don't have I'm just out there every day competing. I know he's right over there, so it's maybe awkward to talk about him. But you know, when he was asking about defensive guys, how much does number eleven show up in your like sight of your your line of vision when you're out there dropping back? Oh yeah, he's out there. He's a disruptor, so he, you know he's gonna go make plays. Um, whether it's attacking the run or in the pass game, he's he's out there, and it, it, it's hard. So you gotta work, uh, watch out for him. What about corners? I mean, when you're scrimmaging, the corners have a very known game plan with this defense. They're going to press. They're going to be playing man. And you have two really, three really returning talented guys. Does that, you know, get you excited for these scrimmage to go head to head against probably one of the best cornerback rooms in the conference? Oh yeah, the defense is playing really well, and and we try to attack those one on ones on the outside. But MJ and Quez, they're um, they're 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 challenging us every day. When you first got here, you talked about you know getting out there, working with your receivers to develop that connection quickly. How have you felt you guys hitting the room, hitting, hitting the, uh, getting out and get, just getting started really well and getting your momentum going early with these spring practices and maybe some extra things that you're being able to do because of your earlier work? Yeah, um, I think we've connected on a lot of plays throughout the spring, and our defense is going to take away certain uh, plays, so we try to get that in the individual periods. Um, but I, th I think like every time we're out there in team, uh, the, the receivers are making plays. How, how much does Coach Signetti emphasize taking off and run, to let the quarterback take off and run? You're athletic enough, you can run. Is it something you like to see you do? 
Definitely. He's, and that's something also I think is harder in the spring to really show. But the scramble phase, he always talks about it. That's the second uh, phase. you got to go through your progression. If nothing's there, you you got to scramble. And, and we can get a lot of big plays off of that. Phil, you're a guy who, you know, you, when you played at Boston College, I saw you, you could shake off tackles. You could use your size and your athleticism to keep plays alive. How do you kind of keep that as part of your game when you're in spring and no one can touch you because they're protecting you? Yeah, you, ch you try to scramble, but it's just, there's a lot up in the air, like what's a sack and what's not. So <laughs> you, really, like, there's nothing you can do. That's why, um, yeah, you, you can't really tell until the game. Do you ever, yeah. like, uh, like, you know, does Coach Narduzzi blow the whistle and you're like, come on, I could have got down to this. <laughs> I could have got, I run. Don't, don't call that a sack. Yeah, and you know the defense, they love to call the sacks even – if it's, you know, they get a hand on you, but they're trying to protect us, and so we get it. Well, you're a little over, you're a little over a week away from the spring game. What do you want to get out of that game, and what will it be like to be in the stadium with fans there again? Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I want to just run the offense. I know we're going to keep it pretty basic, but score touchdowns and complete the ball. When you look at Christian and Nate, you know, and the quarterbacks behind you, what have you learned the most from them, and what stands out to you about them? I think everybody's got a different style, so they do uh, they do stuff that that's good. I thought Nate did a really nice job in two minutes the other day, and Christian he he's athletic and um, he throws the ball really well. So I try to just you know see whatever whatever they're doing well and try to apply it to my game.